Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Covering both sides of the big issues with the analysis you trust on News Radio 1040 WHO. The upcoming presidential election, it's going to be very close. It's going to be very heated. And it's been wild for me to observe over the last few years that businesses have thought that it's a good idea to express it a political opinion. But is it? Here's an expert on branding and trust, and he heads up, he heads up Idea Grove, a full-service marketing company. Scott Baradell returns to the Davison Family Dentistry Newsmaker line this morning. Scott, welcome back to WHO Radio. Good morning. Good morning. So, Scott, what do you think at this point? Uh, is it a good idea with politics being at the top of everybody's mind this fall for a company to get involved? Well, I think um, the general consensus is no, stay out of politics. I think uh, this ebbs and flows. Uh, I think a few years ago it was uh, more popular for brands to to get involved in politics and to talk about stakeholder capitalism. Like we we don't just have to appeal to our shareholders. We have to make everybody happy or, or make certain constituencies happy that aren't shareholders. And the investors have come back and said, hey, (laughs) this is the one funding you just sell the product well and i i like that you brought this up scott because i think it was a thing and it was popular to say in the media at the time hey it's young graduates coming out of college and they're demanding the company take a stand was that fair to, to say it was young college graduates driving this or was there something else in play here that companies thought it was a good idea to take a political stand well i i think uh Starting with the the Trump administration in 2016, I think you saw people who were very opposed to to Trump um, who didn't feel like they could have an impact in in other ways other than to kind of put pressure on brands to to kind of support um, their point of view. Um, and you saw a lot of uh, corporations come out with kind of anti-Trump policies and statements and, and things during the administration. That continued up until, say, when um, you had the Georgia legislature pass this legislation to um, to protect against voter fraud. Yeah. And this was heavily politicized. Uh, it was presented from the other side as, hey, this is racist. And you had big brands felt like they had to get involved in this very hot-button political issue. Major League Baseball, for example, moved the All-Star game that was going to be in Atlanta to Denver. Yeah. And that's how it was then. That was kind of the peak, I think, of this brands feeling like, oh, I guess I have to get involved or I'm going to get in trouble. Well, this year you had uh, the All-Star game in Texas. Uh, The Texas Rangers had it. They were the only stadium that did not have a pride night. And so there were activists who really worked to make that an issue and tell Major League Baseball, hey, get the game out of Texas. Well, uh, Major League Baseball wasn't going to do it again. And not only did they have the game in Texas, but they're having the game next year in Atlanta. Yeah. They biffed it, Scott. (laughs) They really did. Scott Baradell, he is with Idea Grove. So, Scott, what are we going to see in advertising campaigns? Look, I'm all in favor of humor. There is a great uh, commercial for Applebee's. It's going viral right now. It's got the head coach of the Detroit Lions. He's uh, portraying an Applebee's waiter, and he's famous for covering his mouth so that the opposition can't see the play that he's calling. So he shows up at the table, and he covers his mouth uh, in talking and encouraging the customers to order the wings. You know, that stuff's going viral. It's hilarious. Um, What do you think we are going to see in ads as companies start to move away from being political? Yeah, I think anything that can become a meme, <laughs> anything that is 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 gonna is gonna really um, it, it it creates so much momentum. You can get twice the value of what you actually paid for the ad if you can get people to to pick up on it. And the humor is a great way to do that. The last thing I'd say on the politics thing is people. Even though they don't want their brands typically to step on a hot button political issue, they do want them to have values. So if your brand is going out there and talking about sustainability, Mm. people want to hear that. 99% of Americans are for sustainability. But if you talk about climate change, suddenly you're in a minefield. Okay, Scott, that's a really important difference because if I talk about climate change, listeners get mad. If I talk about conservation, people go, yes. So right. there, there's a way of, of portraying a value that doesn't alienate customers, right? 
Absolutely. I mean, companies increasingly are expected to be more than product sellers by a lot of consumers. They yeah. want to feel some deeper connection with the brands that they that they buy from. And one way to do that is to participate in your community, show values. You can do that without getting involved in politics. Always good stuff from Scott Baradell. His company is called Idea Grove. Scott, thanks very much for joining me this morning.